All right, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Moon Dance. That's your intro right there. So A minor 7, and I'm just going to do like a down. You might hear me do lots of chickas and stuff in between and stuff. And my strum pattern might always be the one that I give you because I vary it. But uh, it starts with a, uh, there's, there's really like four chord progressions you have to learn in order to accomplish moon dance. And so I got an A minor 7, and I'm just going to do down. And I'm going to go to B minor 7, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, down. You know, I kind of hit the guitar in between all that stuff. So, uh, many different ways you could play A minor 7 to B minor 7. Uh, the way that I play it uh, is probably not the way you're going to want to do it, but nobody seems to do it my way. Uh, fifth string, uh, no, sorry, sixth string, fifth fret, uh, with my middle finger, and then I lay my third finger down on 4, 3, and 2, and 1, uh, at the fifth fret. I end up muting the fifth string. Uh, that's the way I play my A minor 7, and then I move it up to the 7th fret, and I'll show you different ways to play these chords. So, the, the B minor 7 is the 6th string 7th fret, and then I got 4, 3, 2, and 1 with my 3rd finger. You end up really kind of muting the 1st string, and that's fine, that's what I do too. Um, it's not a big deal. So. Uh, Let's go over it this way and I'll show you different ways to play it. So you got A minor 7, B minor 7. So you do that progression. So if this is 1, if that counts as 1, you do it 4 times. That's your intro. Then when you get to the verse, you're going to do it 16 times. Okay. Now here's a different way to play those chords. Um, you could, most people tend to use their first finger instead of their third, and then they wrap their thumb around like this. You could do it that way. Uh, if you like bar chords, uh, you can bar the whole fifth fret and fifth string seventh fret. That's an A minor seven. And then you simply move that to the seventh fret. So you're barring the seventh fret, fifth string ninth fret. So. So you can do it that way too. Uh, I don't like barring all night long, so um, I, you know, I do different ways. Okay, so that is going to get you your intro and your verse, and uh, that's important. Let's see. Uh, now, now you get to the pre-chorus. Um, I forget what the words are. The you know the. Na -na 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 that a pre-chorus so that's the uh, night's magic seems to whisper and hush or something the soft moonlight something something in your blush <laughs> so anyway you need a D minor 7 uh, for this part I'm gonna bar the fifth fret uh, I'm not gonna bother with the sixth string I just stick my finger right up into it and then second string sixth fret fourth string seventh fret that's probably how I'll play it and my strum pattern is going to be down, down, down on that chord. Then I'm going to go to an A minor 7, and this time I'm going to choose this A minor 7. I'm going to bar the whole 5th fret, uh, I'm, yeah, the whole 5th fret, all, all 6 strings, and then 5th string 7th fret. The strum pattern for this one is going to be down, 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 down. And I do vary that one sometimes, so you might catch me doing something different, but... So that's D minor 7 to A minor 7. You're going to do it three times in a row. So it's like... Back to the D minor 7. You pause for a moment and you go... All downs, real strong, like down, down, down. They're quarter note triplets, and the first quarter note triplet is a, a rest, so you go And then you're going to go to an E7 sharp 9. 
and do the same rhythm all down, down, down. This chord, you might know it from Purple Haze, 5th string, 7th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, 7th fret, 2nd string, 8th fret. Now you can mute the 6th string if you want, you can let it ring if you want because it is an E and this is an E7 sharp 9. Uh, you can get rid of the sound so it's cleaner like if you like. I'm just getting my thumb leaning on the 6th string. You don't want the 1st string to ring. It is an E but you know, it'll get, you know, I don't, know, I don't like it. So that part is, okay, hopefully you understood that. Uh, so let me play through the whole pre-chorus one more time. So it's like D minor 7 to A minor 7 three times in a row, then D minor 7 to the E7 sharp 9, and it's all different strums. So it's like... your pre-chorus uh, and now may I have this moon dance with you my love this is uh, the third thing you have to know okay so for this part uh, let's see we don't need any new chords for this part so we're set with that this one we're calling this the chorus uh, it's oops sorry it's not that at all it's like So what that is, is it's an A minor 7, and I'm just going down, and then I'm going to leave the chord down, but I'm going to mute and mute the string. So I, I release the pressure, but the chord still, shape is still there, and I just mute the string. So I go, just like that. Then I go to that D minor 7 that we know from the pre-chorus, I'm going to go up, up, down, up, and sometimes I will vary that, but it's like... And that's your uh, progression. So slowly it's down, up, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down. So D minor 7, D minor 7, D minor 7, D minor 7. Okay, and you do that seven times in a row. And at the end you hit an A minor 7. And I kind of short like I go, it's like staccato. And then I go to the E7 sharp 9 and I let it ring. And this time you could let that six string just ring out. And that gets like three beats. So you just kind of hold it. So that whole section, uh, let me see if I can come up with what other words there. Oh, can I have this moon, this one moon dance with you, my love? Uh, so it's during that section, the main, you know, the, the, the chorus. So it's like. Minor seven, minor seven. seven times and then you hit that one thing at the end and then you're off so at this point in the song let's go over the form of it um, I'm not going to play it all the way through it'll take me like <laughs> forever to get it right I'll keep screwing it up probably so you got your intro which is just and your verse and that's and, and four times on the intro 16 times on the verse then you got your pre-chorus, which is the that part. Uh, then you got your chorus, which we just went over. Uh, now in the song, they basically just do the verse again, the pre-chorus and the chorus, just the way we did them. Then you have the solo, and I think it's like, is it a piano and a saxophone, and then this piano, or vice versa, I can't remember. But but what happens in the for you playing rhythm guitar? You're going to play the verse again, and the pre-chorus, and the chorus, right in a row, just like you have been playing, but there's no words, it's just the solos for the different instruments. Um, and that follows uh, all three uh, sections that we went over. Then he goes back, he does another verse, another pre-chorus, another chorus. So basically, once you learn them, they just repeat over and over again. 
And then you have the outro, which is a little bit different. And the outro, what they do is they got A minor 7, uh, sorry, to the B minor 7, just like this. They're vamping on it. So it's just like an intro or a verse. The difference is they play it 12 times. And then at the end, they go like this A minor 7 to G to F to E minor to D minor. And then an A minor 9. Okay? So let's go over some of those chords. So the outro is the same chords, the A minor 7 to the B minor 7 that you know from earlier. You do that 12 times. And then on the 13th time, you're going to hit the A minor 7 once. You can do it any way, like this, like this, like this. Doesn't matter. They all work. You hit it once. You go to a G chord. You could do any G chord you want. I'm going to do the second string, third fret, the third string, fourth fret, the fourth string, fifth fret. My thumb's going to grab the sixth string, third fret. I'm going to do that G chord. Sounds like the song to me. And then I'm going to go to an F chord, which I'm just going to move that back. So my thumb's in the sixth string first, fourth string third, third string second, second string first. I'm going to mute the fifth string and the fifth, uh, fifth string and the first string. That's my F chord. Hit, you're going to hit all these once. So can I just have one more moon day? That's an E minor chord. Fifth string second, fourth string second, E minor. Finally, an easy chord. And then D minor, first string, first fret, third string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm not going to play the sixth string on that one. Uh, with you, my love. And then your last chord, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, my thumb's going to grab the sixth string, fifth fret. I'm going to bar four, three, two, and one at the fifth fret. I'm going to mute the fifth string, but I'm going to add either my third finger or my pinky on the first string, seventh fret. That's the ninth that you'll hear at the end of the song. It's an A minor nine. Okay? Hopefully that does it. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I know I break it up into sections. To me, pulling it apart like that and uh, teaching it that way, is, it's easier to understand it. Um, uh, when you're playing through the whole song, you can get mixed up where to go and stuff. But if you practice the sections, you can play along. I think that works. All right? Uh, any questions, comments, uh, uh, please hit like, please subscribe, and play more guitar.